Hi, everyone. This is Tim with Great Angels. And I wanted to um, just do a follow-up on my reading for this week. So if you haven't had a chance yet to view the reading for the week of um, January 27th through February 2nd, stop for right now. Go take a look at that video and then come on back to this one. Or otherwise, some of my what I might say may not make sense to you. Um, the reading that I did for that week, this week actually, we had three cards that came up. The Abundance card, we had Archangel Michael come through for confidence, and then we had Archangel Michael come through again for the weekend. And it didn't dawn on me until uh, I was contemplating at work today that we have something special occurring this week. And I, I know now why Archangel Michael came through for uh, additional protection and also for um, a lot of inner work and strength as well as giving us courage. Do you know that there's two things that are occurring? One is the uh, black moon that is occurring on Thursday, January 30th. If you don't know what a black moon is, what that is is when the new moon, the first new moon of a month, is so early at the beginning of the month that it gives it another opportunity for another new moon to come through at the end of the month. When you have two new moons, it's known as a black moon. New moons uh, in the Wicca, and uh, when I was reading up on Wicca before, they really don't do a lot of spell work during that time frame. It's really um, a, a time where it's reflection and inner work and just a period of rest. So, you know, I know that with um, my readings and also I've been hearing from other people that, you know, I've been doing a lot of dream work this month and I've been seeing a lot of double digits and synchronicities. I wanted to throw that out there that I, you know, we've got two new moons that are coming in. So that's even more of a reason of why you may be seeing synchronistic events. So notice those. Absolutely. There's also a time if you're feeling like, um, you know, gosh, you know, this year has just started. And I just don't feel like it's the year yet. You know, I don't feel like I'm ready for it yet. It's because of this new moon, this super moon energy that we've been experiencing. So... Don't feel like, you know, I'm, there must be something wrong with me. Why am I not up to speed? Why aren't things getting in gear? This has really been a time, especially this month of, and we're also in the first month as well, that this is a period of reflection and a lot of inner contemplation. And also, this may, what I call turtle speed, it may take us some time to get up to speed and get in gear. So that could be also an indicator of why you're feeling the way that you are. There is the, uh, from the Angel Dreams Oracle card deck, the new waxing moon. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about that, just to give you an idea. It says, uh, conception, inner self, and expansion. Turn it this way here for you. There we go. Now it's a little bit more focused. But this card asks you to expand and stimulate your nightly visions through active dream work. So that would definitely explain a lot of you that are doing a lot of dreaming. And dreaming of, uh, you know, I've been having repetitive dreams, okay? So uh, I advise you that if you are having multiple dreams to do some more dream work. And what I mean by that is dream journaling as well. So writing down those dreams and seeing the similarities of those dreams. They may not be exactly the same, but there could be a very common element among them all. Okay. Um, this is also just really paying very careful attention of what you're really wanting to set forth for this month and also the next couple of months. So pay attention to the messages that your dreams are sharing with you. Your goals are beginning to manifest with this. So as we get through this month and we get into February and even March, you're going to see things start to move. So um, don't feel like there's anything wrong with you as such as, you know, gosh, I just keep trying to manifest and nothing is happening. I really think it's because of the super moon energy that we've been having with these two new moons. Um, this is also time to allow things to germinate, planting the seeds. So if you've been doing that all for this um, month, good for you. That's exactly what you should be doing. Now, speaking of planting seeds, and with the abundance card coming in, the new moon, which was on January 30th, 
marks also on January 31st the Chinese lunar year. So what I like to do every year is the Chinese law of attraction, the law of abundance. And how that works is you get a blank check. Okay, I've got mine here. And um, I did some research on this because I found that some people do it primarily the same way, but just in different ways. So I'm going to read you some of the ways that people do this. And I'll let you decide on which way that you want to do it. But one says to take a check from an active checking account. Obviously, you don't want a check that's uh, where the account is closed. You make it out to you. And this one says to not date the check. Now, I have actually seen those where you date the check the day of the new moon. I personally do date the check, okay? Um, but some feel that if you date the check, that you're limiting yourself, that that is the date that the abundance should be coming to you. Okay, so that's why those folks don't date the check. Um, they, set, they also say it to sign it the law of abundance. I've also seen it where you sign your name down here at the bottom. Right here is where you would put regularly your name. This is where you sign it the law of abundance. Or I've also seen it the universal law of abundance. Okay. And don't put a dollar amount in because this will limit how much the universe can bring to you. So I agree with that. Uh, I also see other versions where instead of not putting a dollar amount here or even writing in how much you want in here, that I have seen people uh, put paid in full. And that's how I used to do it, is put paid in full. So I think either way, if you leave it blank or if you write paid in full, because if you put paid in full, that means everything that you need is going to be paid in full, and you don't need to worry about that. Uh, the universe brings you everything that you need so that everything is paid. So if you want to leave it blank or if you want to put that in there, that's fine too. Uh, it says also, do not void the check in your bank book. Just note it in your checking account as the universal law of abundance or the law of abundance. That's what that check is. And you don't destroy the check unless you close the account. You can carry the check with you and then just watch what happens. So those are a couple ways that you can do this. Um, again, you're just going to put the date on the line where you have the date here if you choose to do that. Okay. You will then make the check out to, um, this is where you're going to make the check out to yourself. So where it says, pay to the order of, you will put actually your name in here. All right. And then down here where you have the, the amount section of where you would write, you know, $100, you could either leave that blank along with the box here, or that's where you would put paid in full. And then you'll sign it, the universal law of abundance, or the law of abundance, however you wish. Lots of different versions out there. So, you know, I'd be interested to those of you that have done this, uh, that I'd like to hear from you, you know, post some comments as far as, you know, what you like doing, um, you know, what has happened when, that, when you've done this. And I'm having you do this primarily for those folks that have not done this before. They may want to kind of get an idea as far as, you know, what this is all about, how this all works. So I um, wanted to throw that out there. Um, I have read also that the new moon, actually, you've got 24 hours from the 30th. So you've got until the 31st to, to fill out your Law of Abundance check. So that's how that works. So it's interesting you know, that we had that abundance card come through. And I'm like, well, of course, that's, you know, we've got the Chinese New Year. Um, so I wanted to throw that out there with you. And also Archangel Michael coming through. I feel that he's coming through because of the confidence and the protection and really guiding us to, you know, really um, take care of any loose ends and not worry that if we haven't really been... Oh, moving as quickly as we should just to still have confidence and to still keep moving forward, okay? And he can help us with that too. And he can also help protect our finances, so definitely. So I hope this uh, finds you well, and I hope that this brings multiple abundance for you. And I look forward to talking to you later. Namaste.